Thank you, ma'am. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission now warns that it might be forced to postpone elections in 31 areas affected by nomination disputes pending in the High Court. Chebukati is now calling on the judiciary to expedite the resolution of the disputes as continued delays were jeopardizing the ballot printing process. Chebukati spoke during the National Conference on Peaceful Elections uh, spearheaded by the National Cohesion and Integration Commission where political parties and the four presidential candidates signed a leadership and and peace charter committing to peaceful campaigns. Approximately 30 days to the general election, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission is sounding a warning bell over delayed determination of election disputes emanating from the nomination process. With the electoral body having made a determination on approximately 300 cases last week, IEBC says that one disputes filed at the High Court by those disgruntled by the IEBC Disputes Resolution Tribunal risk derailing the election in the affected areas. As a commission, we cannot wait forever. We shall be forced to suspend elections in those areas where decisions are made that interfere, or not interfere really, but affect the printing of ballot uh, papers. Chebukati now wants the judiciary to expedite the determination of the disputes to allow the IEBC adequately prepare for the election. We must deliver an election on 9th of August. And that, then, we hope the judiciary will fast track whatever decisions they have to make so as not to interfere with the printing of ballot papers. This, even as political parties and the four presidential candidates signed a leadership and peace charter committing to maintaining peace during and after the elections leadership and integrity in addition to aspiring as peaceful and fair 2022 general election process. NCIC chairperson Samuel Kobia, who led his peers who are stakeholders in the election cycle, called on politicians to ensure that the country is stable even after the results have been declared. Today we achieve a commitment from all key political actors to not only stop violence, but to also act gently and decently in their politics and act with the respect and the decorum. I will make sure that I become a leader. And a leader, whether, fail or, whether we succeed or, or fail in our elections, whether I win or lose, it's not a problem. I stand here as a candidate of peace, of hope, hope for Kenya. There is still hope for Kenya. I want to assure Mr. Chibukati and the Commission that my candidate and our campaign is going to be your faithful partner in this process. We trust you. We, as the Roots Party of Kenya, believe in one thing that we have a young generation. We have people who are coming to leadership and we have to give them a ground that be able to express themselves. That he will continue to ensure that the footprints of his campaign will remain even more peaceful in the remaining 30 days and he will continually and continuously continue to persuasively dialogue with more and more Kenyans in his signature bottom-up uh, economic engagements with all peoples in the 47 counties. We are calling for responsib responsibility and responsible statements by leaders because it is the leaders who are vying that would call on leaders to would call on their electorate to, to do something that is not right. In the remaining 30 days, the IABC will be the custodian of a peace torch that will be symbolic to the flames of peace across the country. John Jacob Curia, Legends Edition.